In order to hide elements with CSS, you'll need to understand two specific CSS properties, display and visibility. The easiest method of hiding an element is to remove it entirely. The display none property does just that. That piece of the page will simply not render anymore, and the space it takes up on the page will be removed and the layout readjusted. The visibility hidden CSS is very similar. In theory, they can be used to accomplish the same goal. The big difference, however, is that with this one, you're not removing the element, you're simply making it invisible. When the page renders, the space will still be there, but the element will not. So to recap, use display when you want to completely remove an element from the page and use visibility when you still want the space there, but the element to be invisible. If you know which element you want to hide, but not what to call it, you can always right click on it and select inspect. This will open the DevTools pane in your browser, letting you find the CSS ID or class it uses. When it comes to hiding elements on specific pages in WordPress, you will need to find the page ID class. You can find this ID by looking in the URL bar of any edit or preview page. The number listed in these URLs is the page ID that you will use in the CSS selector to target elements on that specific page and nowhere else on the site. In this example, we're completely removing the header from only the page with ID 55341, whereas this code would remove it from every page and post on the site while keeping the spacing. So there you go. That was a super brief look at display and visibility. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.